I'm John. This is the Basic Agent Channel on YouTube. The Basic Agent Channel focuses on the basic interest items of insurance agents. You will find something here of use or an item of success that you have used in your past. Social media and insurance are frequently combined today. Social media platforms are being used by brokers, insurers, and other business participants in the sector to interact with current customers and inform prospective new ones. But as social media uses increases in the insurance industry, there is an increased chance that agents and brokers could face ethical dilemmas. Today, we will discuss social media etiquette for brokers and agents of the insurance field, as well as the prevention and preventative advice on this episode of The Basic Agent. We are going to talk about the most liked and the most disliked topic today on The Basic Agent. You see, ethics I know I have to deal with, but I really don't like dealing with it. But then I do like the digital imaging and the digital media stuff. So let's take a look at the ethical challenges which can crop up in the utilization of the digital world. Ethics in social media for the insurance agents, it's a common approach to staying in touch with people. It's through social media. However, maintaining integrity is a primary, prior, <laughs> primary priority when agents and brokers use it for their insurance operations. You have to maintain clarity in your social media messaging. Make sure your social media posts are factual before publishing them. Don't, for instance, post remarks that might be misconstrued or posts that guarantee coverage. To preserve the integrity of your messaging, it pays to make your time while writing your social media posts, and you can even really need to bounce them off of someone else just to make sure. Even if communicating on social networks is more casual, you'll still need to be as precise as possible in what you say. Examine the carrier rules. For insurers, their social media policy probably applies to its staff members as well and even to agents. Even though you might not be obligated by this policy, reading it will give you a better understanding of the problems and the pro viewpoints of the major carriers. Read your appointment paperwork. Go ask for the contract that you signed and reread it. Information, and you'll find maybe some information that you can find about what you post on social media with regard to the insurers that you work with. You can get a framework and ethical bounds for your social media activity from the established policies and standards. Consider your social media posts to be similar to print media. Don't post a statement on social media if you don't wouldn't even consider printing it. Everything you publish online should be treated as an advertisement, just like the one that is printed. To remain compliant and maintain the integrity of your post, adhere to the same rules and regulations. Take into account going over your social media posts in preparation. You might even think about discussing your potential social media posts with an attorney or another reliable mentor. The second opinion can really be helpful. In my particular case, I try very strongly to steer clear of ever mentioning specific products or even talking about a specific carrier. You will never find us mentioning carriers in any product literature that we bring up that's public facing. Active measures to prevent ethical mistakes on social media. What you really should do is attend routine CE courses. Those continuing ed courses will help you, but they will also give you credit towards license maintenance. Continuing education will impart useful knowledge and you will always have access to the most recent social media advice because course designers regularly update their information. For your next round, search for a course on social media ethics since many agents are required to complete a set amount of ethics hours towards every CE requirement. Enroll in a program for professional designation. 
by obtaining professional credentials in risk management and insurance, agents and brokers can advance their education. Look for titles like Certified Professional in Credit Union. Uh, how about an accredited advisor in insurance or a certified insurance counselor? A code of ethics governs these professional designation programs as well, and holders of the designations must commit to the following certain moral principles. They might be able to steer clear of ethical problems with social media by affiliating with one of these groups and committing to their standards. You also need to take into account using a freelancer to assist in your social media marketing. You receive more than just a creative direction when you work with an agency or other outside third party to assist with your social media efforts. By using an agency, you may spread the risk of a bad social media post. When you hire a marketing firm to handle your social media initiatives, you share the risk because they may be insured to aid with liability. And also, if they specialize in the insurance industry, they will know the things to steer clear from. Examine your insurance plan and find out if social media or advertising-related concerns are covered in your business insurance policies. Check your policies or speak with an agent and make sure that if you make a false remark online and it causes someone injury, you could really have assistance from your insurance policy. Probably afterwards you'll be out of business, but at least you will have the actions of an E&O policy. Even though you might be a one-person operation, these rules still apply to you. Remember that. I am director at Apex Insurance Group. If there's something that you would like to talk about further, you can contact me there. Apex Insurance Group is a marketing organization offering over 85 carriers, 250 plus products, and multiple specialties. I thank you for viewing this video. I hope that there was information that gave you something to think about. We welcome your ideas and tips which have helped you throughout your insurance career. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the Basic Agent channel. Also, clicking the chime will notify you of my new posts on Saturday. Meanwhile, I encourage you to be memorable.